You're listening to Amazona Meditation. Focus to master skills. Make yourself cozy and comfortable, getting your favorite pillow to rest your head on, and your favorite sheet or blanket to wrap around you. Adjust yourself so that you are very relaxed and become as still as you can. Focus on your breath now, but don't try to change it. Training your mind to focus is like training a muscle. You can't lift very heavy weights on your first workout, so don't expect to focus for an hour straight on your first day of doing new focusing techniques. You start out training your ability to focus slowly going for maybe five minutes with no distractions or breaks, then increasing to six or seven minutes the next day, focusing, and then take a break, and so on. Focusing on your breath can make you feel very sleepy. So focus on your breath right now. Watch it coming in. And watch it going out. Watch it going in. And watch it going out. Distractions are the biggest pitfall of failure to focus. So when you get ready to start a task, keep a sheet of paper nearby that you will call your distraction list. That way when something pops in your head that you want to look up on your phone or computer, or someone you think you need to call or contact. You write down these things that are trying to pull your attention away onto this list. And then you can get to them when you wake up the next morning refreshed. Focus again on your breath. It has probably slowed down a little bit for you. Notice the quality of the air. Is it coming in slowly and shallow? Or is it deep and profound? Draw in a deep breath now, and exhale, feeling a wave of relaxation come over you. Now use your imagination and visualize a set of stairs descending in front of you. You are at the top of the staircase looking down. And when you begin to walk down these steps, you become sleepy 
and deeply relaxed. And then you just listen to what this story tells you that allows you to have extreme focus whenever you need to. Begin walking down these stairs into extreme focusing abilities. 10 9 8 7 6 Stepping down into sleepiness. 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 When you step off the last step, you have gained great focusing power. Now hear these words deeply and with passion, knowing that they are true of you. You have a wonderful ability to focus. Focusing comes naturally for you. When you need extreme focus, your attention is like a laser and nothing distracts you. Every day, you strengthen your power of concentration. You focus intensely whenever you desire. You take breaks when you need to as to not drain your focusing abilities. Concentration is one of your greatest abilities. And say to yourself now, I am committed to being focused on my goals. I focus effortlessly. Wonderful. Now I will tell you a short story on how focusing benefits everyone. Louis was horrible at focusing. All his life he was told he had ADD or some form of attention disorder. All his life he was told he couldn't focus on anything. He would go from game to game or thought to thought, and couldn't really grasp on to one thing for too long. By the time he was 20, his life became so out of focus. He needed to make money, but he didn't know how. He could only keep a job for about a year before he would get so bored He wanted to change and do something else. Then one day, while he was watching a YouTube video or something, 
he came across a guided meditation. I could never meditate. I can't even focus for a few minutes, he thought. But he decided to give it a try anyways. The video led him to focus on his body sensations, like his hands and feet, and he found it was pretty easy to follow these directions. Before he knew it, he was sitting for 20 minutes, focusing completely on the guided session. And it was over. Louis hadn't focused on anything for 20 minutes straight in his entire life. Well, this is amazing, he thought, because he was getting pretty fed up with how his life was. So he decided to take a meditation challenge. Meditate for 21 days with a guided video to help. And it was amazing. Louis sat every day for 20 minutes and focused easily and actually enjoyed doing so. Meditation became his new passion. He even noticed that while driving in the car, he was able to focus fully on driving. And while talking to friends, he started to be able to really hear what they were saying instead of focusing on the way they looked or something else in the environment. He took up a new hobby of going to the gym, which is amazing because it takes dedication and focus to work out often. A few months went by and he was working out often and he even got a job that he actually liked for the first time in his life. Every morning, he made it a point to meditate for only about 20 minutes and then focus on his goals and some things he wanted to achieve on a daily basis. He wanted a long-lasting relationship, so he focused on that for many days in a row. One day, when he was working out, he found the guts to say, hey, to this girl he had noticed coming into the gym often as well. He asked her out, and she said yes. Her name was Barbara, and she's from Germany. They hit it off, and everything has been going wonderful since. He taught Barbara how to meditate, and Barbara inspired him to be his best version of himself. Everything they did together was fully focused on what they were doing, and they didn't let distractions get the better of them. They are very healthy and strong and created a beautiful family together. All the years he was told he had ADD seemed like they were talking about another person. Louis could focus intensely on anything he put his mind to.
Meditation taught him how to concentrate. See, meditation isn't a kind of religion, but the practice of focusing your concentration. So let your body fully relax into the bed, feeling this story inspire you to practice focusing your concentration to master any skill. Have a nice night's sleep.